Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play, uh, Tales of Symphonia. Okay, um, there's a few things that we're gonna clear up with, uh, this episode to get some more titles, actually some cutscenes kind of thing, so. I'm gonna go here to Mel Tokyo. Um, now what I wanna do is, uh, I can keep everyone like this. I'm gonna go up to the castle. Oh, maybe not to the castle itself, but, uh, go around here. What's this over here? Looks like it's the, uh, the Wonder Chef. Wait, hand over the ultimate recipe. This is for my successor. What are you doing? Shut up. Amateurs who know nothing about cooking should stay out of the way. But it is those amateurs that you cook for. If you look down upon your audience, you will never be able to make good food. What did you say? It is as he says. I cannot entrust this recipe to someone who doesn't possess the heart of cooking. Farewell! <laughs> okay. The Wonder Chef got away because of you. You're going to pay for it. You want to fight? Yeah, a cooking battle! What? <laughs> Very well. What? I will choose the recipe. Alright. Beef stew! Stew. Interesting. Rico's cooking is good as always. Compared to that, yours is missing something. What? The seasoning is unimaginative and no real thought went into the cooking temperature. You didn't put your heart into it. That's impossible! Your pride as a professional has resulted in the loss of your skills. I see. In my quest for the ultimate recipe, I overestimated my own skills. Now that you've realized that, your cooking will surely shine. I see. Yes, I must return to training. <laughs> Alright. Kinda crazy. I'm sure that cook will once again return to making dishes that please others. But I gotta ask, why are we involved in a cooking contest? <laughs> it's true. That was a marvelous battle, Regal Bryant. Whoa, he came back again. In the commemoration of your victory in the cooking showdown, I have a gift for your regal. And, uh, this is... You can feel the heartbeat of this costume. Become the next Wonder Chef and pursue the path of cooking. Hey, wait! Why was that weird cook after you? He's not after me, but the ultimate recipe that is passed on by my family from one generation to the next. They're agents of the Dark Chef Alliance. I guess there's a lot more to this than I thought. In order to save the hearts of cooks that have fallen to evil, we of the Wonder Chef family are always looking for a successor. Regal, keep it up. You have the necessary qualities. But I... Hmm? I hear the cries of those suffering at the hands of the Dark Chefs. Farewell! Oh, boy. Well, I will take these clothes with gratitude. Yeah, wear that and cook some good food for us again. Understood. And he obtained the title of God of the Kitchen. Okay, so uh, I don't want him to have that title, though. Because that is not a good title. Um, yes, I guess. Okay, so there's still something else that we can do here. Um, um, we gotta go to the, uh, the prison. Easily reach the prison from uh, here. Okay. You got out? That's good. Prison doesn't suit you. What happened to Lehman? He got out too. Who is Lehman? He is the master who taught me to fight with Greaves. If it were not for him, I might have lost my life in the arena. What? Why would you die in the arena? Prisoners must fight the beasts in the arena. I'd given up fighting, regretting that I killed Alicia with my hands. They even then told me to fight with my feet. Of course, that's merely sophistry, but he pursued me, or he persuaded me to continue living until Barley was captured. That is why I'm here today. And yet, your face looks troubled. I feel that not using my hands when facing the powerful enemy is burdening my companions. So that's why you've come to see me. Go to the hot spring at the House of Guidance. He should be there. 
May we go there? Uh, yeah, you bet. Thank you. I want to clear away my hesitation. Okay, so... The hot spring is set. Okay, so I want to make sure. Okay. Off we go then. That's where we need to go this time. There's still more that we can do in Mel Tokyo, basically like the Coliseum, but I don't know. But that won't be till later, because I need to level up wait a bit before I do that. Hot Springs. Isn't this where we were supposed to go? Come on, let's have a look and find out. Not very much do they. Guess not. Kitty! Meow! I guess we can go right to the, uh, the hot springs, I guess. We might have to wait till a certain uh, level, too. We'll find out. Oh, wait, who do we have here? If it isn't Regal, it's been a long time. Leave it, I'm glad to see you're well. <laughs> what brings you to this old man? Circumstances have led me to fight against a powerful enemy. However, I'm feeling the limits of my fighting arts. Things are now with my hands sealed. I worry that I may eventually become a burden on my companions. Hmm. Even you told me, even uh, forced, even forced, used in the name of justice is still found. Yes, the reason I taught you the true ball style is because I believe you understood that. That I, that I understood it. Why do you not remove your shackles? Because I do not wish to use these hands as tools of destruction ever again. So then, it's alright to use your feet? No, not using my hand serves as a reminder that even when using other methods, what I'm doing may only be needless destruction. So why do you hesitate? You have given yourself an admonition against the violence you committed, and you have friends who watch over you, aid you, and accept you as you are. What is there to hesitate? Yeah, if you say you've decided not to use your hands, that just means we have to take your fighting style into account, because the admonition that you put on yourself is the very reason we're fighting. Yes, it is true that we desire the elimination of senseless violence. You have companions that I understand you. There is no reason for you to hesitate. Yes, thank you. And Lloyd as well. <laughs> Let's do our best together, okay? Okay, um... Looks like you've finally gotten over it. Yes, thanks everyone to help. Yes, that's what known as trust. Don't betray that trust. We should take that to heart. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll have to come back here later. Uh, okay. Because uh, that guy's supposed to give Regal his ultimate weapon, but uh, I don't think he gets it until he's level 80, so we got a ways to go before that happens. See what else we can do. I'm not gonna go to the XR yet because I'm still not ready. <laughs> I better do some level grinding. Um, maybe I can try doing genius thing. We'll see. Kuchino is carrying out Tiga's orders to act as liaison to the elemental 
Research Laboratory in Mount Tokyo. Why is he doing games to you? Vice, uh, Vice Chief Tiga is angry, saying that this is personal. I'll report the details to the Vice Chief. Then I'll go as well. I have that right to you his brother. Yeah, though, you come too. What? Uh, okay. You know what has happened? Kuchinawa desires the opportunity to fight me to avenge his parents, so he still bears a grudge from the tragedy of old. And you accept this? I believe that Kuchinawa says what Kuchinawa says is correct. I am responsible for the deaths of Orochi and Kuchinawa's parents. I do not have a reason to refuse. That's wrong, Shina. If you follow that logic, many of the villagers must also challenge you for revenge. It was an accident. It was wrong to hold on to that grudge. It is as Orochi says. I do not believe that the chief would have allowed this duel. I made a promise to Kuchinawa that I would accept this duel. Kuchinawa says that he will leave this village regardless of whether he wants to lose this. Do you know why? Only criminals leave the village. Shino, what has Kuchinawa done? And I shall ask the visitor, Lloyd. Do you know something? Uh, I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. If it's necessary, Shino will explain. It's not my place to speak. Lloyd, thank you. That is your wish, Lloyd. I will not pursue it further. Then head for the Isle of Decision, or which you prepared to vote. Yes, sir. And who shall be the observer? I like to ask Lloyd. Me? What's an observer? Very well. Lloyd, please head for the Isle of Decision with them. When you are ready, let Orchie know. Hey, someone tell me what an observer is. Poor Lloyd. Nobody will tell him. Okay. So let's uh, talk to people. Don't give up. There are those who can only uh, settle things in combat, although it is a foolish thing. Out of my way! Prince Bell. I hope she gets it back. Yuzu has a lot of unusual customs. It's fascinating. And good. Hope Kuchinawa and Shina can be friends again. Well, I don't think that's gonna happen. You ready? Let's go. Just uh, head for the aisle. I leave my brother to you. I probably should have healed myself, but oh well. <laughs> it's not like you can use items in this battle anyways. Not allowed. Sheena, took you long enough. So you really want to do this? Of course. See the observer? That's right. Lloyd, Lloyd Irving is the observer. What does the observer do exactly? He just watches over the fight and when one side of his defeat, or dies, the observer confirms it. Alright, then begin! <gasps> Alright, here we go. You're in for a world of hurt. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, oh no. You gotta be kidding me! Not this Fire seal. No way! Fire seal. You're going no way! It's over! Got it! You nice. grow I win. Strong. And we got the Ashura item. So that's why you want to win this battle. <clears throat> Admit defeat. So you don't want to kill me? I don't want your pity. I refuse it. And she gets the bell back. And yeah, good. I lost because of my own insignificant, insufficient skill. Goodbye! Stop! Uh, stop him. What are you doing? I'm the observer, remember? I've confirmed your loss. It's over. Lloyd. It's alright for you to hate me. It's alright for you to resent me. So please being pitied by my parents' killer have fallen lower than I ever thought possible. Even still, it's better than dying. It's possible to live a life more painful than death. No life and, no, life and death are fundamentally different. 
there is meaning in living, there is no meaning in dying. That alone is enough to make them completely incomparable. No meaning in dying? I'm not sure exactly how to say it, but it's because people have respect for the way someone lived that they're sad when that person dies. Yeah, exactly. That's why there's no meaning in dying. The meaning lies in the life you lived, therefore you have to live. Is there meaning in me living? I think that as long as you are alive, you can always give your life meaning. See, someday when I'm able to think that way, I may be able to forgive you. She'll always be watching to see if what you have said is true. Don't betray me. And he's gone. I hope he forgives you someday. Yeah, I hope so too. Alright, so, uh... The item we got is the Ashura, but it's still not as good as what we got. Um, so I'm gonna keep the money back. I mean, it's a pretty decent item if you fought him like earlier in the game than I have, but the problem is, is he, it's pretty difficult to fight on this year. Got a few levels under your belt. I think what I want to do now is probably stop the episode. Yeah. Um, next time, we're probably going to continue on with more Sheena's little side quest thingy here. And that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Godspeed, stay frosty. See ya.